What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World and right now we're going to be talking about reaching millionaire status fast. Like I said guys, my coins are going to fluctuate throughout the process because guys, I'm going to buy the cards that I want and I'm going to raid sell the cards that I hate. You can see we've added Roquan Smith and uh, we added a few other pieces to the squad simply because we're starting to play a different type of defense and I just experiment. But the one thing that I do and I urge you guys to do is to always keep your binder full. Okay, because when your binder is full and you have a decent, you know, mutt team, you can always make the coins back up. Just get rid of coins before they become too outdated. For instance, the zero chill promo, right? It's not at that point yet where it's outdated. Some of the cards are still valuable. You can still get at least 400, 500k for some of these cards, but you got to watch it. You got to watch the way the market works because when it's time for a card to go, they got to go. Like that Trent Brown right there, dude, going back from the harvest, if he wasn't as fat as he is right now, dude, he'd be gone because he's a 91 and he's really starting to aggravate my flesh, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to talk about what you guys are here for, how to become a mutt millionaire, all right? So when you take a look at the amount of items I have, I play the game often on stream, G Myers World on Twitch, we're all over the place, all right? But we usually live stream and we go through a lot of different scenarios, we change our team up, we spend money that we don't have to, and we do weird things to have fun with the game, all right? This is what I want you to consider. Adding players like Johnny Manziel to your squad, right? Let me just give you guys some insight into this, because a lot of you guys had that, um, uh, what is it, the Perry? The William Perry, right? He's really good, I, he's not a bad card. But what I'm saying is if you roll outside the pocket and you play the way I've been playing and you just don't care about human life, you're going to run around like an idiot. Like, bro, like a straight chicken with his head cut off. You won't care, right? This is the way he plays well. He is not a pocket passer, all right? But he can make you over a million coins right now if you did what I did and get rid of William Perry at the time that I did. Now, his price went down and went back up and people are still using him, but it doesn't matter. Because I run around and play the way that I play, I don't care. I'm very, very rarely thrown from the pocket anymore, and when I throw a streak, I'm on the run throwing the streak. Like, it's really nasty business, boys, because I don't care. This gameplay is some of the most horrific experiences I've ever seen in my life. So, I want to urge you guys to do the right thing. This right here, right, keep in mind, the Campus Hero players from the first promo, the 88s, they uh, give you times three chemistry, all right? So, if you guys are wondering why Johnny Manziel is that fast, that's why. All right, so when you go over to um, the original Campus Heroes, you see all these times threes, the man, the man, uh, Monty Teo, Logan Mankins, Bo Jackson, and then this guy is four, and then Michael Myers four. You can utilize these guys with Campus Heroes too to boost whatever players you have for Campus Heroes. Now, do I consider um, this Campus Hero promo uh, a W? Uh, not in most cases, but you can still utilize the sets to make coins as well, which we'll get to right now. Because this is what a lot of people thought. They thought that you had to get all of the Campus Hero 2s to be able to go ahead and, um, you know, get the boost for the actual theme team. Not true. So their prices are going to still be relatively decent, over 500k for most of them, including Ricky Williams, who has really, really trash abilities. So why am I showing you this? I'm showing you this because I want you to know any set card that is available, that's how we go back and make our coins up. Because I know I have enough in my binder to make these set cards and sell them for 500k a pop. Do you though? You see what I'm saying? I got 1600 items and they're all garbage, but they can turn into what I need for this. This is the way that you go ahead and get stuff done. Now, not only this, because it's a weekend, right? And a lot of people are selling their cards off to get some of the newer cards. You can take advantage of that as well. Yo, G, what do you mean? How do you take advantage of that? You can start to play around inside of the store with certain training offers and things like that with certain cards. Also, they have those daily, um, you know, daily packs, right? Not the ones that they charge money for, but the ones that they give you like the one cent garbage or whatever like that. You have options, all right? But this is the one that, you know, generally everybody gets. One of the things that's interesting about this, guys, I don't know how long you guys have been playing Mutt, but these cards used to give us a lot of 90, you know, 94s, 95s, whatever, back in the day. I think I got 190 the whole year out of a get a gold pack. So they've definitely nerfed that. They've nerfed it a lot, all right? And I just wanna make sure you guys understand that. This right here, the one coin daily uh, offer, this varies, all right? But I want you guys to take advantage of that simply because EA Sports, they, I've seen, um, you know, little clips where people are pulling wild stuff. Take advantage of that, but remember, it alternates. It can be either one cent or they charge you, right? They charge you like uh, like 150 coins or 200 points 
or something like that to get the pack, all right? As far as spending coins for legend packs, I would not do that, okay? I would say, you know, stay away from it, but if you are playing the competitive pass, right? If you're playing the competitive pass and a legend like Champ Bailey comes out, it could be worth it for you to go and finally open the packs. I get questions like, yo, G, why are you storing all those packs? Why do you have 70? There's people that have a lot more than me, but I store it until there's something that I actually want. So you see like how I have this legend pack right here? This would be a great opportunity because of what was released. And this is something that I would tell you guys that just because you get it, that doesn't mean that you open it right away. And it's for reasons like this. Champ Bailey right now, 95 speed, zero AP Lurk Artist, he's going for about 1.8 million coins at the time of this video. Is it worth it to gamble and open this up to get your millionaire status? Because we don't really need Champ Bailey. He's a man-to-man -man archetype, so he's going to get the deep out zone KO for the same uh, AP that everybody else does. So if you wanted to add Lurk Artists in addition to that, you would probably say, yo, I'm going to keep him. But right now, with the mood of the game and the way it plays, we want knockouts, right? So that's one thing. Also, with the way that it goes with like these EA play packs, I got this question too. Okay, G, you got all these EA play packs, EA only gave me one. What am I doing with this? Well, this is why I wait, right? Because it's gonna be random cards in there, but when you get 82s and stuff like that, you can put those into the other sets to build up, you know, whatever set you're trying to make. And then if you get lucky in this round and you get anything that makes any sense, right here, obviously EA is like, yo, you're gonna take this and you're just getting 80s. It is what it is. We just move on and open them now because all of these lower level core elites are gonna turn into the, the cards that we ultimately want. So making these set players, like the, uh, the Super Bowl, if you guys play the game, if you watch my gameplays, I show you guys different defenses. I, you know, I'm putting it on display what works. Many of you guys are reporting, yo, gee, I'm winning a lot of Super Bowls. Guys, I'm telling you right now, like look right here, right? This 88 is a lot of value for what we're gonna create later to make more of the um of those uh you know the uh campus hero packs. All right, getting an 81. Although that 81 is not gonna help us in this situation, it's still a legend card. You don't know what it's gonna be. So all of these things are still random. You don't know what's gonna be in them. So I would urge you guys to open these packs. Any free pack you get from Super Bowls from uh, the field pass, wait until there's something that you're trying to complete or that there's something in the game that you actually want because that's what's gonna benefit you more than everything else that goes on. You don't wanna just open them as soon as you get them because it may not be something that's gonna actually help you. So right here, I don't think we need those AKAs anymore. Uh, well, actually, no, you might wanna start to store the AKAs because the AKA packs, they might with the next AKA promo, they might actually let you use some of those uh, those lower level AKAs as uh, chemistry like they did for uh, the current uh, Campus Heroes too. So you can see there's a lot of different things that are in these packs and the only thing, the only reason that I have these packs is because I subscribe to EA Play to get Madden early every year. All right, so we got an 89 out of this and an 88. So that's gonna help us tremendously. All right, so that's why I'm showing you all this stuff. Now, as far as the legends go, I'm gonna save that for live on stream because more than likely in this pack right here, we're gonna become Mutt Millionaires live. So if you follow G Myers World on Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff, bro, on X, you're gonna be able to see how we actually do it. But focus in on the sets of the current promos, all right, number one. Number two, make sure you're taking advantage of the field pass and all those free packs and make sure that you're taking advantage of the free legends that are available now in the challenges for just going through the challenges and getting the tokens, all right? Right now, you're eligible to get a free legend, which is a 94 overall, get a Terrell Sugg, get a Drew Brees, another 500K. So there's a lot going on in the game right now that I want you guys to utilize. As always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. If you're a member of the channel, go ahead and let me know what you're thinking. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.